Mr. President. Yes, uh, my name is Ulanden Komesha from News Diggers newspaper. Sorry, the mic is kind of short. News Diggers newspaper. And um, most of the questions I think have been asked, but I'll go for a political one. Um, recently, we have seen the former head of state has gone on uh, international media to say that he's under house arrest and that uh, he, the government is actually peeling him, his family, like onions. And uh, he says that uh, he, he can't even campaign, he can't even go out. Uh, maybe my question is, is that uh, his comments genuine? And we've also seen that the Oasis Forum have come, come on board to say, uh, to give his, the comment on the matter. But the, my question maybe would be, are his comments genuine in terms of him saying he's under house arrest and his freedoms are being guarded? Thank you. Next, news diggers, friend of mine, ours, former president is, <laughs> is under house arrest. His freedoms are being gagged, as you have seen over time, that I resist the temptation to answer to what the sixth Republican president of Zambia has been saying, including where he retires from politics. I think on the 26th of August or thereabout, 2021 and once he retires he's entitled according to law benefits the law I didn't make but the law is mine and yours because it was made by us parliament of that time in fact that was made was it before his time or during his time before his time even him didn't make that law we don't make laws for ourselves. Laws apply for every citizen. The law is very clear. Former President's Emolument uh, Benefit, Former President's Benefit Act is there. He retires, automatically he gets his benefits. Then he decides to come back in politics. The law is clear again. When you decide to come back in politics, you lose your benefits. Are we together? instantaneously you don't even need to invoke any motivation you lose your benefits that's the law he's a lawyer i won't comment whether he's a top-notch lawyer or not. that's not my that's not my business i have my own opinion and the facts are there right and sometimes we must be careful with what we say right because the public have the information and how we conducted ourselves when we did anything. So, as a lawyer, he knows the law is explicit, very clear. You come back to politics, you lose your benefits. What does my brother do? He goes to court. Out of his own volition, the law is invoked. He goes to court and says he's being persecuted because his benefits are not there. And he will communicate to BBC, CNN. But the facts are different. But when he was asked the other day, before he said, people reminded him, well, you lose your benefits if you do this. I don't care about the benefits. The benefits disappear by law. He starts asking for benefits. He's in court. Now, has this happened before? Yes. Which president? President Kaunda. Did that? In accordance with the law, he lost the benefits when he went back to politics. When he finally retired, the law again is clear. He got his benefits. It's not an argument. It's a law. I just wanted to clarify that. But it's not for me to spend time on these issues. He's a citizen of Zambia. He knows the law. As to whether he's under house arrest, I don't know. I'm not aware. Let me just ask a question. When was that J.J. Banda? 
Something happened after he claimed that he was under house arrest. Then the following day, he freely took himself to a police station or to a court, I think, to escort somebody. To a police station. Ah, to report the disappearance of Church Liband. Now, somebody under arrest, you can't leave the house. There you are. The test of the pudding is in the eating. Who is fooling who? Is there. Some of these things, we shouldn't get into those discussions. We really have, should have self-restraint. On your own, you say, I'm a mature man. I'm almost 70. I've been around. I can't mislead the nation. Right? Then, harassment. What harassment? Truthfully, if I was like him, he would have known what harassment means. Because he harassed me day and night. He's there. He locked me up 15 times. He put me under the death row for a crime I did not commit. When I took office, I said, I don't want to do what he did to me. If I do what he did to me, then I'm not different from him. I stand by that position up to today. But you cannot use the former president's status to go out and break the law. Because you are not covered by that immunity. Please, those who are asking for immunity, this is not an issue. Leave his immunity. He continues breaking the law, soon he will be arrested. Simple. It's as simple as that. Ubufumu wishtashani. End it, We must be self-respecting for the community to respect us. That's what it means. But really, this is not my focus. I have a lot of work to do. I do take note of what he says, but I choose to ignore him. That's who I am. I hear a lot of things. Even what you guys exchange on your private platforms, I plant a few people here and there to say, what's going on on that platform? Okay, check this one. I check. Sometimes I laugh as well, but these Zambians, what are they saying here now? <laughs> you know? One must be big enough to have a chest big enough to isolate that this is where my effort must be. Zambians are hungry because of the drought. That's where my interest is. To irrigate. That's where my interest is. Sarah's comment to win all people from charcoal. That's where my interest is. To have a fair price of solar. That's where my interest is. To have the debt restructured. Let me tell you. Sleepless nights. This minister, the economic team, this president, many other people, sleepless nights. You must start observing your fellow citizens. When we set our eyes on something, it's difficult, it will take long. God's help, it shall be done. Here we are. We called it Mission Impossible. Here we are. We are the first one in the world to achieve the restructuring. We found many countries in the queue we jumped, not because we corrupted somebody, just hard work. Now Zambia is a guinea pig. You know what a guinea pig is? Don't say that, don't write that HH Zambia, say Zambia is a pig. No. A guinea pig in science means a trial, you know, a test tube exercise. A pig you use to test if you did this, what would be the reaction? So we are now the test country. For once, we should be proud of ourselves and that there was hard work behind this. That's where my mind is. People will say, oh, you and has bungled the relationship with China. I say, ah, Pembera first. Just wait, wait. Things are done properly in an organized way. I know Zambians are not used to that. Because of the leaders, some of the leaders we've had were haphazard. Things must be done in an organized way.
properly. Sometimes sequentially, sometimes simultaneously at the same time. That's order which delivers success. It takes longer sometimes. It's very complicated. I've never, I'm a transactions man myself. Most of you don't know. My private business life, what I used to do included transactions. Putting transactions together, getting a buyer, a seller, getting an investor, and putting them together. If I gave you a list of the things we did, even in our, our areas, many of you don't know, but you will be, be surprised. This was a very complicated transaction. Too many players, politics in it, east, west. You go to Beijing, the west says no, you are against us. You go to Washington, the east says no, are you with us or you are with Washington? Until I said, if I'm in Washington, I'm not against Beijing. I'm sure you remember that. If I'm in Beijing, I'm not against Washington. We went through a lot of challenges, but we thank the global network of colleagues who believed in us and you and your patience first you're electing us into office then your patience and we ask you to remain patient if there was a shorter route you would have used the shorter route on all these things that we face so i believe that answers that question of someone's freedom he's a citizen he has rights, but there are also obligations. If you go in the market, you start instigating those marketeers, some were PF, some were UPND, who were fighting before, and now we've cooled them down. Then you go in the market and instigate them to start fighting again. Then you shouldn't go in that market because you are creating trouble now. You become a source of trouble now, right? We watch, we follow. You were there encouraging the youth to fight. Who is your responsibility? Rights, one side, the flip side, obligations. Rights on one side, flip side, limits. That's how it works. Please, fellow Zambians, when there's an issue like this, Follow it and you make your judgment where the problem is. The problem is very clear where it's coming from. So, BBC stories are written. I said, now, what is being talked about here? One capital asked me, he said, You arrested your colleague. HH, you promise you will not arrest him. I said, My promise remains. We don't arrest innocent people. We only arrest people who are committed crimes. The law arrests them, not me. So I said, no, but your colleague said you arrested him. I said, when? He says, about uh, three, four days ago. But I said, but yesterday he was walking in town. How is it that a man in detention was walking in town? Even illegally, right? You can't run a procession without notifying the police. Did he get arrested? No. Why? Restraint, maturity. Maturity. That's the issue. So I decided to answer comment for the first time. And you will not hear me commenting on it. But all I can say to you, when you rise to this level, you have bigger obligations to keep the country safe and peaceful. Don't stroke trouble. Don't continue stroking trouble. Yeah. When you get it, you complain. Because soon the law says you can't go beyond this. That's the truth. And let me remind you, please, MPs. When I leave office, when Zambians decide that I must do something else, not commit crimes and hide behind the presidents are occupied. A favor, a rare favor from the people of Zambia with God's wish. I will not go out committing crimes and then cry that I need protection. I will not have that protection. 
that's the truth so really why mess up a country there's a drought there's this then you're stroking trouble you're inviting hey come I'm here then you're a coward if you don't follow me you're a coward 